What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and if you enjoy watching zombies videos then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So Ewok suggested a SMG from Modern Warfare 3, the FJX Horus. Now we've already used the FJX Horus when it first released and it was an absolute demon in the tier 3 zone, however he actually gave us the build he uses so I thought I'll go ahead and review it again with his build. Before we take a look at all the attachments we're using, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank Mitch Cactus for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in unlocking the MW3 Mastery camos such as the Interstellar and Borealis camo or playing easier lobbies where you can level up your guns and unlock camos rapidly, all the best schematics or even instant delivery of pre-made accounts then be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. They're the biggest and most reliable sellers with a bunch of new offerings for Modern Warfare 3 and they offer completely safe and legitimate services for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Be sure to use my code HYPNO for 5% off. So the build I'm using for the FGX Horus is as follows. As suggested by Ewok, we're using the Jack Glassless Optic, which personally I wouldn't use just so that we can use that attachment for something else. The Ripper Light Stock, which increases your sprint to fire speed, movement speed, and aim walking speed along with your hip fire spread. The Coop 40 Rare Grip for some extra flinch resistance, the 48 round mag, and last but not least we're using the Kaimura RYN3 Vertical Grip for increased gun kick control, vertical recoil control, aiming idle sway, and firing aim stability. Thank you again to Ewok for the suggestion, if you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out then be sure to drop a comment below. So now that we went over the build I'm using for the FJX Horus, I'd say it's time to head over to the tier 3 zone and do some work, so I'll see you all there. Alright boys, we made it to Urzikstan. As you can see, we got the FJX Horus. I brought in the Mag of Holding, a legendary tool, and two perks. We'll definitely have to carry this operator up. Uh, let's just quickly see how it's... Okay, yeah. Definitely does some work. Of course, we do have a legendary tool on, so, you know, that's that's kind of normal. Alright, let's see what contracts we can do. Okay, deliver cargo. We're definitely going to go for that. That's easy 5,000 essence so we can get pack one. And of course a free self revive since we're solo. Man, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of worried this morning because I was playing some DMZ with the boys. And uh, your boy ended up getting shadow banned, man. So uh, for a while I thought I probably can't even make a zombies video. But it let me into zombies regardless, which, you know. Definitely happy about that. Now, I was thinking about streaming some DMZ from time to time. You know, just, you know, whenever I have time, let's put it that way. Um, so I'm not sure what to do now, if I should just make an alt account for DMZ, or... Yeah. Well, I'll get that figured out, though. But yeah, drop a comment below if you guys would be interested in hanging out in my DMZ live streams. No! They're going for it! Damn! Okay, that is very unfortunate. Alright, we'll still go over to the tier 3 though and see if there's another contract we can maybe do. Um, yeah, I'll have to get that figured out. Maybe join up with a squad or something? I don't know, man. I don't know, but I definitely want to play it safe. Hey, there we go. These boys let me in. Hell yeah. <laughs> there we go. Definitely have to play it safe. Okay, so unpack a punch and a legendary tool. You still do some work in the tier 3 zone. I can't lie. That's actually pretty impressive. Definitely happy about that. Um, I think I'll have to let these boys carry me through this contract. <laughs> Just to be on the safe side. Ooh, look at that. Melting that disciple, bruh. Hell yeah. Okay, I can't wait to see this thing in pack 3 though. Man, just imagine we end up getting a pack 2 crystal or something off this contract. That would be awesome. And there we go, contract complete. Let's see what we got off of that. Reward Rift is right here. Um, Deadwire, a blue tool, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> Alright, no self revive off that, but we do have 5000 essence. So, where's the pack machine? Oh, it's way back there. Okay, I'll quickly make my way back there, and I'll get back to you guys once I'm pack a punch. And there we go, got this bad boy to pack one. Let's see how it's performing. Oh my god, okay, so legendary tool in pack one. You just absolutely rip through. Yo, what is this movement speed? Boys, hold on. I mean, yo, is, this is a glitch, man, or something. <laughs> That's insane, dude. <laughs> what a nut. 
Oh man, by the way boys, happy 420. Wink wink. I mean, just look at that, we're level 420. Not sure if you saw it there, but it should have showed it up in the corner for a second. Alright, so these boys got a disciple up ahead. I'm gonna start moving up. Hopefully we can actually be useful and help these boys out now that we're at pack one. I mean, yeah, even that mangler is getting melted, man. Definitely impressed by this gun already. Oh, yeah. I mean, just look at that, boys. Just look at that. And this guy wants to hop in. Just going to let him join. Let's go. Okay, where's this disciple? Um, all right. Guess the disciple's a bit further back. Oh, damn. Couldn't climb for a second there. Almost went down. Holy. There we go. They already finished the contract. <laughs> Easy essence right there. All right, let's see what we got off that one. Okay, we got Brain Rot, Deadshot Daiquiri, which we already have. And I guess I'll just equip that Mortar Strike as a placeholder. Very nice. Very nice. They want to do another bounty? Hell yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Should we go grab a self res? Nah, we're good. We're good. We'll just go do the bounty contract. We'll get one eventually. I mean, I got faith that these boys would pick me up, right? <laughs> Hopefully. Ooh, someone pinged that three plate, though. Definitely gonna go grab that. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. All right, where's that three plate at, though? Oh, there it is. Nice. Thank you, sir. All right, and they got a mega as their target. Where's he spawn? Oh, way back there over by the portal. Okay, should be an easy enough kill. All right, I think once we have a self-revive and maybe pack two, we can go ahead and leave squad and try to solo a few contracts. I'm not sure if we'll actually manage to pick one up, though, since tier three zone is super contested right now. So, uh, yeah, we'll definitely have to see about that. All right, where's this mega at? There he is. No, oh, he's almost dead, man. This guy's been working him with that jug. There we go. Beautiful. I helped a bit. <laughs> what do we get off this? Deadshot Daiquiri again and another Mortar Strike and a two plate. Definitely not too impressed with that loot. Let's see if there's another bounty. Yes, there is. All right, I'm thinking to quickly grab pack two though. Um, yeah, there we go. I'll quickly at that pack machine. And there we go, boys made it to pack two. Oh my god, yeah, this feels like pack three. <laughs> oh, I swear. Oh my. Yeah, absolutely loving this thing. I'll already have to give this thing a 10 on 10. Mobility is great. Damage output is just insane. Just overall a great weapon, man. Let's go ahead and pick this guy up here. Oh, he's got that fist. Let's go. My guy's spending all the money. Isn't it crazy how you have to pay like... Wait, what? Did we just complete... I'm so confused. <laughs> we just complete another? Hold up. Yeah, we did. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Reward Rift is way back there. I mean, just look at how quickly we're killing this Mangler, man. We ended up turning him, but we got to that halfway mark within seconds. So, yeah, I'll definitely have to give this thing a 10 out of 10. I'm loving it, man. Mobility is great. Damage output's just insane. I mean, look at that. Jeez, man. And we got Brainrot and Precision. <laughs> We're back to the terrible loot, boys. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. That guy got another bounty, though. Nice, nice, nice. We still haven't found a self-revive. That is, um, yeah. That is something else. And we got a Mimic as our target. Mimic should be right up ahead. So let's actually just quickly drive up here. I think I know where this Mimic spawns. There we go. All right, let's start in a few shots. Oh, yeah, we're eating into that guy's health bar, man. So that's definitely great for taking out HVTs. About to hit that quarter way mark already. I mean, yeah. I'll have to give this thing a 10 out of 10. That is just insane. Just look at that, boys. And once again, we're not at pack 3 yet. So just imagine once we're at pack 3. Oh, hell no. There we go. My guy, my guy helped us out. I thought I'd kill it before. Um, sigil, a medium bag. Nah, we Gucci, we Gucci. Okay, one more contract, and then we can actually get pack three. Let's go. Hmm, there is that outlast contract right there. I mean, I guess we could do that. Yo, hold up. The whole team left us, boys. <laughs> oh, man. All right, should I just uh, solo this one? Yeah, let's do it. I'll just go solo for it. Nice. 
Not gonna lie though, I still can't believe that we haven't found a self revive. I mean, that should be one of the more common items that I find here in the tier 3 zone, but nope. It is what it is, boys. It is what it is. For a few days we had some decent loot though, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, definitely looks like that got changed. Super unfortunate, but you know, can't change anything. Get a little disciple up ahead too. I mean, dude, just look at the movement speed when we're shooting. That's just insane. Strafe speed's decent too, not gonna lie. Hmm. Oop, PhD flopper, let's go. Actually a decent drop right there. Got a few extra plates, so quickly throw some of these on. Very nice, let's quickly come down here. Beautiful, might just have to throw a decoy real quick. Yep, that'll sort it out. There we go, nice. I was about to say, did the decoy not work, man? <laughs> uh, self revive, let's go, and the elemental pop recipe. I'll take that for some extra XP. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Uh, quick deliver cargo contract right there. I think we'll do like, mm, maybe two more contracts, and then we'll head over to the Elder Dark Ether. Still not sure which Elder Dark Ether to go to. I might go to the old one for this video, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's been a minute since we've been there. Um, we should have enough mag of holding, so, you know, yeah, definitely gonna go to the old one. And who knows, man, I've heard you guys say that the old Dark Aether has some better loot, so things might turn around for us. And we got this LTV, so once we deliver this cargo and check our reward, we can just head on over to the Pack-a-Punch machine and get Pack 3. I'm excited to see how this performs at Pack 3 like completely maxed out with a legendary tool but yeah i'll have to give it to you man this is a solid build i'm definitely impressed personally i would have preferred going with the iron sights and using that attachment for something else but you know it definitely gets the job done man that's all i have to say yeah we'll just take some of those items as placeholders okay let's go get pack three boys mm. We could try to yoink that contract and then go get pack three, just so we have a bounty contract to complete once we're done. Um, yeah, that guy's right by it. I'm not sure if we'll end up getting it or not. Uh, no, he got it. Damn you, dude. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. All good, all good. All right, let's head over <laughs> to the pack punch machine. Just imagine if the bounty contract back there would spawn in while we're pack punching. Mm. But it doesn't seem like we're too lucky today, boys. First we get shadow banned, now we're getting terrible loot. What is this? And there we go. Got pack three. Let's see if there's a few zombies. There's just this little hellhound right here. Um, any normal zombies anywhere? Come on, boys. There we go. Oh my god. Hold on, that was super quick. Okay, turn that one. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> if this gun ain't broken, then I don't know what is, man. <laughs> We're already ripping through tier 3 zombies with pack 1 and a legendary tool. So, uh, yeah, this thing is broken. And there is no bounty contract anywhere. Hmm, let's quickly take out this mimic. There we go, got another mimic right there. Let's hit a few shots. I mean, just look at that. <laughs> This is easily the best SMG in the game right now. Has to be. Look at that, and ammo doesn't seem to be an issue with this gun, which is great. Not gonna lie, we should probably try to get a few perks here. At least speed cola. Um, what are the more important ones? Speed cola and maybe quick revive? That should do it. That should do it just for that faster health regen as well. Yeah, we should be fine, we should be fine. There's a bounty contract way back there, but we're pretty far from any cars. And going up there, yeah, I don't know. Let's just full send it. Hopefully. Hopefully, boys. Oh no, that- Oh man, <laughs> they got it. Super unfortunate. Alright, we might just grab this car here and drive around for a bit. And who knows? Who knows? Maybe another one's gonna spawn in soon. But yeah, we definitely have to do one more contract just to get our hands on a Casimir. We only really need one, because that's going to turn into two once you teleport. And uh, for that final extractor, we can just use Ether Shroud. So, we Gucci boys. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. We got this. 
Nice, we got the contract. Let's go, man. Awesome. Let's see what target we get. And it's a mimic. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Where's he gonna spawn? Way back there. Okay. No problem. So once we finish this, I'll just quickly hit a buy station, grab a Casimir, and then we're going to the old Dark Aether. Yeah, I'll definitely be bringing in a VR11 one of these days, just so we can actually do all three contracts. Because for those of you who don't know, the old Dark Aether has an escort contract, and the only way you can heal the ACV is with a VR11. So, yeah, that thing's definitely needed if you're trying to uh, complete it as a solo player. Wait, where is this mimic? Is he not up here? I might be tri- Is that- That's gotta be another mimic, right? I'm confused, boys. Um, okay, hold on. Let's just, uh, all right. He should come up the stairs here, right? Unless I'm tripping now. Uh, no. Is he outside? Oh, no. There he is. Hey, Mimic. Nice. Oh, hold up. Brain Rod Zombie's trying to mess him up. Thank you. I appreciate the help, dog. Okay, yeah, Mimic's about halfway dead already, just with those few shots we hit on. <laughs> That's insane. Alright, come here, Mimic. Come here, dog. There we go. Quarter of his health bar left, and we got the kill. <laughs> yeah, this thing is super OP, man. Got Tombstone off that, and Juggernaut. Beautiful. Okay, there is another bounty right next to us, so you know what? Let's just take advantage of that. Might as well. It's just gonna be an extra, what, two minutes of footage, maybe? So... Yeah, that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. And let's quickly stop here and buy Casimir. There we go. So we're pretty much set up now. After this contract, where is the target actually? Okay, it's not too far from the old portal either. So, yeah. Let's go kill that Mangler real quick. Oh, there we go. Mangler's right there. Let's come over here. Try to hit his arm cannon. Ah, we missed a few shots on him. It's all good, though. Keep shooting into that group. We also have a Mimic on us. Oh my god, man. Just look at how quickly we killed that thing. <laughs> That's awesome. Beautiful. Oh, Mangler's got some moves on him. Let's come back here. Uh, can't shoot the arm cannon from here. Dang. Nice. Let's light some of these boys here up. We have a Disciple nearby as well, so hopefully that guy doesn't end up healing the Mangler, but nah, he's too far. We'll get the kill before that disciple can do anything. And there we go. Contract complete. Quick and easy. Let's see what we got off that. A normal sigil. I'll drop the pack one crystal. Um, and a medium bag, which we already have. Not too bad, but also not too impressed. <laughs> Alright, let's grab this LTV and I'll see you guys once I'm by the old dark ether portal. And there we go, boys. We made it to the Dark Aether portal. Let's use that Elder Sigil, accept the teleport, and I'll see you all in the Tier 5 zone. Alright, boys. We made it to the old Dark Aether. So once you spawn in, just come down to this side right here and run over in this direction. Now, the first contract we're going to be doing is the Aether Extractor contract, and that's located right up there. So let's just quickly make our way over there so you guys see the route that I like to take. Um, in my opinion, this is probably the easiest route. You won't have to deal with too many zombies at the same time. So just climb up here and go through that window, break the glass right there, and then you can just take the ladder like so. And as you can see, there is a mega abomination up ahead. So just drop down to this side of the building right here so you can avoid that guy. And then just run up here, and as you can see, right up by that zip, the first extractor is there. So just run over here, and take the zip up, like so. There we go, there's like two elites over there, so just throw a Casimir at the ground. That's going to pull in all the zombies, but more importantly, oop, there we go, it's letting me do it, nice. More importantly, it's going to let us disable that extractor. Then just start running in this direction here. And uh, you shouldn't have too many zombies to deal with while you're running over there. But, you know, just, just play it safe. Be careful. Once you cross that wooden bridge, look up at that wall and throw your other Casimir at the wall. That's going to bounce off and land right by the extractor. So once again, we can just run up here and disable it. Super easy. There we go. Now we'll just quickly plate up for that final extractor. We'll have to use Ether Shroud for this one. 
So just climb on this wall and jump right down here. There we go. Let's actually try to take out a few of them, maybe. I don't think we can fight them all off, though. Yeah. No, we'll definitely have to pop Ether Shroud here. <laughs> there we go. It'll just keep spawning. So just pop Ether Shroud, run up to the extractor, and once again, get it disabled. Super easy. There we go. Now wait for that to blow up. Nice. Now let's quickly check our reward rift. And we got the dog bone recipe. We also have a dog bone in there. Um, we could actually drop a normal sigil since we have more than enough of those. Let's quickly do that. Death perception I will take. And uh, that extra self revive we don't need since we already have one. So then just jump over here to these stairs. And from here you can parachute down to this green bus and this is where you find the second contract being the outlast contract so just pick that up and run in the direction of the p and d device there's a zip in this corner so just take the zip up here there we go let's clear our path a little bit nice oh hell no it's way too many yo 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 <laughs> god damn chill boys chill <laughs> let's just quickly use that self res it's all good might have to take some of these guys out real quick. There we go. Then just run up to the P&D device and get this activated. Now this contract is super easy. This room is kind of designed for training zombies around. So as you can see, you can just keep running in circles. Um, if you end up getting trapped, as in if you have zombies coming there and there, just jump down and move over to the other side. Demonstration purposes, boys. Demonstration purposes. <laughs> But yeah, definitely an easy contract, so just take your time, don't take any unnecessary risks. If you happen to have extra Casimirs and go ahead and use those, they'll definitely help out with this contract. But um, yeah, you shouldn't have too many issues with it, so just take your time and I'll see you guys once I'm done. And there we go, contract complete. Had no issues doing that. Let's see what we got from this one, an Etherblade case and the schematics and two perks, which I will go ahead and leave in there. Um, so once you finish that contract, you can just climb up here, make your way to the rooftop like so. And as you can see right up here, this is where you find the exfil portal. So you can just take that and exfil. Now, um, my final rating for the FJX Forest is gonna have to be 10 out of 10. I mean, the mobility is on point, damage output is just insane, high fire rate as well, which I absolutely love. Uh, just overall a great gun, and as you guys saw, even unpack a punched with just a legendary tool, we were still shredding in the tier 3 zone, had no issues taking those boys out. So, uh, yeah, definitely a great gun. Good amount of ammo too, so you won't have to worry about that either. So, uh, yeah, thank you for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. Thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked it. Go ahead and comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to show support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are. And as always, goodbye.